stands for Cadillac User Experience. It's the brand's new high-tech dashboard interface design. The problem is, the C can also stand for confusing, convoluted, and complicated. This control system was introduced in the Cadillac XTS and ATS, but it's going to spread throughout the brand's lineup. Cadillac is trying to shake its old-fashioned image and go all high-tech. Old-fashioned knobs and buttons, well, they just don't cut it anymore. So they're all gone, replaced with a touchscreen and flush capacitance switches in the dashboard. There isn't even a volume knob. Instead, you slide your finger. Problem is, these buttons can be fussy. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. And you can't just blindly reach for them. You have to take your eyes off the road to make sure you pick the button you want. Another problem is that these flush buttons inherently lack tactile feedback. You do feel a bit of a buzz when you touch them, but that doesn't always work right either. Unfortunately, the touchscreen is no prize either. You're always flipping through pages to get what you want. There's no seeker scan buttons on the dashboard. So that means you need to pull up the radio screen, hit the browse list, and then you're finally given an option to tune the radio. Some of the screens let you scroll through menu options, much like a smartphone or a tablet. This is a bit fussy and doesn't always work smoothly. Another problem is that in a misguided quest to simplify the screen appearance, they hide the buttons on the screen until you get close to them. A proximity sensor brings them up. Problem is, you can't see where to aim until the things pop up. So it adds another step. The next option you can use are steering wheel controls, but this toggle control on the steering wheel is very fussy. Finally, there are also comprehensive voice controls that operate many functions. Say a command or say help. Cadillac says that using these controls let you stay away from using the stuff in the middle of the dashboard. Problem is, you could have voice controls as well as having well-designed dashboard controls too. It's inevitable to make comparisons to my Ford and my Lincoln Touch, similar systems in Ford products. At their worst, they also have flush buttons and no knobs, but it is easier to find your way around their systems, even if Cadillac has cleaner screens and larger fonts. Thing is, all of this is something of a shame. Cadillac's cars are becoming much more driver-oriented, especially the ATS. Thing is, the Q controls, they're not really driver-oriented at all. 